So if y'all, it's me, it's your boy Asmongold, and today we're going to be doing some devious, nefarious shit. And you know what that is? That's we're going to learn how to ninja loot. That's right. And a lot of you guys are probably going to be mad about this, but I did a poll on my Facebook yesterday, and people want this to happen. Now, I originally made this guide. I wrote it out. I'm looking at it right now, and I'm going to use it as my notes for this video. And I have this written out, like, in paragraphs. Uh, some things are in bold face. You know, so, I mean, I put some fucking work into this. And uh, either way, I asked a couple of different uh, administrators for the uh, larger WoW fan sites if they would host this article and show this article for everybody to, to figure it out and, uh, and see this, uh, this information that I know a lot of people want to know about. And they said to fuck off. Right. And so here we are making a video because that's, you know, that's what I got to do because nobody wants to host the article. So either way, uh, first thing we're going to talk about, guys, is that uh, is ninja looting ethical? Is ninja looting fair? Is ninja looting uh, moral? I don't know. It's this fucking video game. It's not morality. But guys, here's here's uh, here's what this really is. guys. Now, people who think that they're uh, some that they're in like the Wolf of Wall Street, that they're some kind of like super genius that lives in their basement or something like that. I'm like, you guys know what the fuck I'm talking about. Uh, they would call this social engineering. All right. Now, I prefer to, to just keep it real. And this is what we're going to talk about a lot in here. Uh, it's it's lying. You're lying to them in order to get what you want and you're deceiving them. Don't ever, ever, ever try and convince yourself like you convince everybody else but you have to be real if you're going to be real with one person in the whole world be real with yourself are you bullshitting people to get what you want yes that's what you're doing there it is there's it's very simple so simple I, honestly i don't even know why i'm telling you guys this like there are so many people they try and rationalize it they say oh you know i did this run 15 times you know i'm top dps everybody came in there with the expectation of getting the item and if they didn't have that expectation, they wouldn't be there. And you willingly either allowed them to have that expectation, because that's the understood expectation that everything will be free roll. Like, am, am I am I wrong here? Like, you play it, you play it, and everything is group is group loot. Like, that's basically the standard or personal loot now or something like that. But that is basically the standard. And so, if you deviate from the standard, then you're willingly deceiving people or allowing them to deceive themselves. Don't ever try and say or rationalize or somehow say that you're doing a good thing or you deserved it more than they did. Fuck that. Like, if you do that, fuck you. There is no no reason to do that. And I've already, I've already spent, oh my god, I've spent three and a half minutes talking about this. This bothers me because I really, I really hate that mentality, all right? You don't deserve it any more than anybody else, but that doesn't mean that you can't take it. Now, we're going to get right down into this shit. Like, actually, we're not. We're going to have to talk about a couple other things because it's important. You either embrace being being a dickhead or you don't be a dickhead don't pretend that you're not a dickhead okay there's no middle ground here now the the thing is like people ask like okay so is ninja looting I, my my beard itch I, I shaved earlier i didn't do a good job so either way um people ask is ninja looting uh i, get, I mean am i gonna get suspended for ninja looting yeah i mean maybe if you fuck it up you get suspended Probably not going to get banned. I've never heard anybody getting banned for, for ninja looting. And guys, please don't tell me that you that you had so many ninja loot from you and then you got them banned. You don't know that. Okay? You don't know that. GMs don't tell you. Please, please don't say that. So either way, um, ninja looting is not ethical. It's not fair. But if you're going to be a dickhead, go full dickhead. All right? Don't go half dickhead. As I said, as I always say, you go big dick, man. Like, you don't you do not do any of that, that half chub bullshit. You know, you ninja loot the item and you say, fuck everybody else. Or you don't do it. You know, you sit in line and you never get your item. Because at the end of the day, boys... You either got the item or you don't. I ninja looted the flame talent of a list resort. I don't feel bad for it at all. I took it from those other people, and that's all there is to it. Now, uh, you know, did they think that I was going to do that? No. But what? What at the end of the day? What, what's going on? So I've I've got I've got the fire raven lord. Who else in our group has a fire raven lord? Actually, my boy Jeff, who ninja looted it to me, we went and ran it for him a bunch of times so he could get it. You know, as as a, you know, you know, as some uh, I don't know like. Uh, I can't think of the word, but I'll probably think of it in the, when, when it'll be inappropriate. But either way, so people want to know, I, I want to get back on topic, and I'm going to try and stop jumping around here. Uh, people want to know, is ninja looting against the terms of service? And the answer is, yes, it is. And so that's why you have to make sure that you're not ninja looting. Now, there are a lot of things, there's a very strict definition of ninja looting. The strict definition of ninja looting is that if you say, if you post loot rules in chat where everybody can read, that say that a certain item is on reserve or not on reserve. 
And uh, if you say that it's not on reserve and you say everything is free roll and then you master loot invincible to yourself, you say fuck everybody else. And, you know, you can take this is one of the things I like to do. I like to uh, whenever I ninja loot them out, uh, I like to um, offer people to instead of as like a, um, you know, like a second place prize, uh, you know, like what you can do is you can stand next to me riding them out and take a screenshot because that's how close you were. Right. <laughs> so uh, if you really want to be, as I said before, full dickhead and um, what you have to do, guys, is that you have to make sure that that you do not ever post the loot rules all right and what we're going to do in this video is i'm going to go through a lot of different ways to kind of misdirect and divert and neutralize different uh considerations and problems people might have to you ninja looting okay and we're going to go through i'm going to try and have some visual aids on the videos and everything like that and so anyway uh ninja looting is uh, very strictly defined and so if you don't do something that's within that strict strict definition the odds are you're probably not going to get in trouble and guys please like, if you're going to ninja loot the item, don't fucking ninja loot the item if you've already posted the loot rules, because you're just going to get it taken away from you. They're not going to redistribute the loot. So you don't have an item. You get a three-day suspension or three-hour three, three suspension. Everybody else is pissed. You don't have an item, and you make all of us look stupid. So don't waste, don't, don't do that. Don't waste literally everyone's time by doing that. Don't do it. So here's what you have to do. All right, and we're going to talk about the, uh, I guess, like, basic ninja loot guidelines. Now, this is this is a really simple like uh, if you guys want to know like how to how to ninja loot there's one uh I, I don't know how many words this is probably like two or three uh never post loot rules four words okay never post loot rules no matter what because if you post loot rules as i said before then it's grounds to get your shit taken away from you and then you wasted all your time and everybody else has created you know unnecessary animosity for nothing for nothing and then you're i mean it's just so stupid right so never post loot rules all right now, you have to figure out different ways to make people either think that you did post root rules or, for whatever reason, basically neutralize the issue of the loot rules coming up. Now, sometimes people will ask you, like, in a tell, like, hey, what are the loot rules, you know, instead of asking in rage chat. Now, this is this is a gray area, and I prefer not to go here, but sometimes you can tell them the loot rules, and the odds are Blizzard's not going to take away the item, even if you say it's free roll and then you ninja loot it anyway, because it's not actually to everybody, uh, it's just to that one individual. And so that's a, you know, that's kind of like a little, a uh, little tricky gray area that I, as I said before, I don't really like to play in gray areas. So, uh, the, if you guys have ever heard of like reserving an item, this is a big deal in like ICC, and uh, like now I don't really see it too much. And uh, anyway, so what reserving an item is, it's real simple, is that people just say what item that they're going to ninja, and then they just make the group uh, around that. And so if you want that item, um, you know, you're gonna go to, this, you're not gonna go to that group because this group, the guaranteed. If that item drops, it's getting ninja. So everybody knows beforehand, there's no foul play. This is not against the rules. But the only downside is, again, that will other people who want the item. So, like, what do you... You're going to do an ICC 25-man run, and you're going to you're gonna reserve Invincible? Good fucking joke. Nobody's going to come to that. So that's why that's why you ninja with the item, is to, to convince people that everything's going to be okay. And then, ha-ha-ha, <laughs> it's not. And so... Main thing, guys, is that this is our, and we're going to go through different, uh, like, I guess, like, different tactics or strategies, whatever you want to call it, on how to prevent ninja looting, or how to prevent, this is actually, like, guys, I do want to say this real quick, um, I don't know if I said this before, but all information is a two-edged sword, so people who, uh, who don't like ninja looting, uh, just, all information is a, is a double-edged sword, or two-edged sword, whatever, whatever way you want to look at, okay? The best way to deal with somebody asking uh, if you're posting loot rules or like what the loot rules are is you just ignore them. You just point out, fucking ignore them. Uh, they say, hey, uh, you know, what are the loot rules? Good job. You did it. Okay. And that shuts them up usually. And they probably will forget and not ask again. And so, second, like if they keep pestering you, say that you'll post when the group is full and the reason for that is that the odds are that the time between whenever they ask you that and whenever the group is full they'll forget right and so that's really really easy another another uh kind of like uh, thing similar is that you'll post once everybody gets in a mumble everybody gets an event so you move the goal posts back and so then they forget where the goal posts actually are right and so it's all about uh it, it's it's brain magic guys this is a lot of brain magic and so this is what we really got to be talking about and everybody needs to understand uh, also, sometimes they just keep pestering you. They just keep getting annoying, right? 
okay, what you do is sometimes you can kick them out during, like, uh, whenever you guys are summoning everybody in, you know, or whatever else, whatever else you're going to be doing for the group. And uh, you pretty much just kick them out right at the uh, right at the summons and say, hey, they didn't want to come because it was taking too long. But you don't want to do, this is what you don't want to do, is, like, if they say, hey, what are the root rules, and you kick them out, right? Because how fucking suspicious is that? I mean, as I said before, you want to make people feel safe. You want to make people feel like it's not going to get ninja looted. Like, if they think it's going to get ninja looted, they're going to leave. And so that's what you don't want to happen, all right? So that's the main thing you want to have, is you want to make sure that they don't think anything. That This is just a normal run, and everything is going uh, according to plan, until, surprise, motherfucker, Invincible is mine. And so that's what you want to have happen. Either way, make sure that whenever they do, whenever you kick somebody out, uh, you tell your group that, hey, they had to go or something like that. So you automatically, uh, you, I guess, like preemptively quell any concerns or anything like that that other people would have, right? And so it automatically makes you makes them think that, okay, he didn't get kicked out, right? Because you already came up with a reason why the person left, okay? Another thing, this is, uh, this is again, another, uh, you know, like, kind of like double, like two two level uh, brain magic thing here, is that you have a buddy of yours, like this is, uh, we're going to do a couple of different uh, two-man team things here, is that you have a buddy of yours tell this other person, be like, hey, you know, can you just stop spamming or something like that? And so what you want to do is you want to make that person act annoyed that this other person is asking for the loot rule. So this person, you want to make this person turn this person into the enemy, okay? And so what this is going to do is it puts the other people on there, and it turns this person from somebody who's concerned about everybody's loot and everything like that into an annoying spammer, all right? And so again, it's a lot its a lot of, uh, of brain magic, and so you've really got to keep on top of that. And so what you do, as I said before, is you turn that person into the aggressor, into the annoying person, into something like that, and you basically make them, you you discredit them, and so whenever they uh, they ask about the loot rules or whatever else, if it was just like, shut the fuck up, it's going to be fine, right? So you've actually got people agreeing with you, and this happens, this fucking happens, guys. You've actually got people agreeing with you. You've got them agreeing with you that it's not going to be ninja and it is. Like, this is, it's amazing. I'm, it's unbelievable that people would do this. But it actually happens all the time. And so again, uh, you want to just, as I said before, turn them, make them act like a spammer. Make people think that there's some sort of a spammer. And, you know, there's a bunch of other stuff like that. Uh, another thing, what you can do, this is like, uh, like, I don't really like to do this too much. But you can tell them that you've already posted the loot rules. You posted the loot rules, uh, I don't know, like five or ten minutes ago. And, you know, they're just, uh, they're they're late to the party. It's too late. We already posted them. And then they'd be like, oh, can you post them again? That's the problem. And so that's whenever you can do one of the other strategies, and uh, or just have your friend tell them uh, what the loot rules are, and uh, your friend's not the raid leader, so it doesn't matter what they say, okay? And uh, another thing that you guys can do is, uh, this is, uh, shout out to my boy Zerius for uh, for playing this one off for me in, in uh, Kata, is uh, what you do is you, um, I'm trying to think of a way to put this. Like, all right, I'll tell you, I'll just, I'll, th I'll throw out the story, okay? So we're doing, uh, we're doing Old War, and Old War 25, man, I'm going for Memoron's head. There's a lot of people in the group, but only one person's getting Memoron's head. And, uh, and uh, either way, so the what, what we did is we had my buddy, I said, I'm going to go AFK, right? Because everybody's asking, like, we get to a like, Yogg, and everybody's yeah. asking, like, yo, yo, what the fuck is the loot rules for Memoron's head? Nobody posts the loot rules, because everybody knows, the, everybody knows the drill, right? This is KT, like, it, this is it's commonplace, all right. If if Invincible doesn't get ninja, if Memory on Ted doesn't get ninja, that's weird. I don't, I don't. That's I mean, like you're just expecting it on KT, and so whenever something doesn't, if there's no foul play, that's weird. Okay. Either way, uh, so Zerius, what I tell him to do is I tell him I'm going AFK, right? And I wait for 30 seconds, and then I tell my boy to run in there and aggro Yogg. And then so whenever we aggro Yogg, everybody's like, oh shit, the boss is aggroed. But it's not by me, right? So they're not thinking I'm trying to play some kind of bullshit on them, but I actually am. And so what I do, and then I come back and say, all right, everybody into the room. And so they're already engaged with the fight. They're they're distracted, right? They're distracted. And then by that time, the boss the boss is going to be dead anyway pretty soon. And then Memron's head didn't drop. Kind of sucks. But either way, um, you know, I had a chance at and I had Master Loot, and I didn't have to post the loot rules. So, guys, this is another one. Uh, this is like a trick, all right? And I want to uh, I want to use an example for this. I watched American Psycho. Uh, I don't know. It was like a while ago, and they're at some club, and um, some some like girl ask uh, ask Patrick Bateman, who's this who's this psycho, and they ask him, uh, you know, what party of of the um, 
what do you call it, of the business are you into? And uh, he says murders and executions, okay? And so he actually tells them the truth. But the, the reason, and then the, uh, the girl automatically corrects it in her head to think mergers and acquisitions, okay? And so you see you're doing this double reverse brain magic on somebody and they don't even know what's going on. And so you're actually telling them the truth, okay? So you say something like, uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna ninja loot everything from the last boss, I'm gonna vendor it, okay? And so it's funny, it's a joke, but at the same time, if people don't actually ask for the real loot rules because they think that this is a joke. And so because you already went to this extreme, they think that you're at normalcy instead of thinking that they're at their extreme, which is asking the, uh, asking the, the question, okay? And so again, You've got it. You've always got to be, uh, I guess, like paying attention to this shit. And guys, I want to use another example, and uh, I use this in my uh, in in my document here. Is like whenever you're you're like a farmer, right? Um, there's like different types of uh, pesticides and different types of fertilizer for each plant, okay? And each of these people, imagine like you're in the half hill uh, the half hill farm, right? And it's like, do you want to throw water on this uh, on this carrot? Or do you want to, uh, or do you want to put fertilizer on it? And so it's up to you as the farmer and as the uh, as the ninja here to figure out what is the best way to approach and neutralize this situation. And there's no magic rule for okay, this is the best way to do it every single time somebody asks this. This is the best way to do it every single time somebody asks this. It it really kind of depends, okay. But what it really comes down to is it. The, the more you do it and the more that you're used to doing this stuff, uh, the better you are at, you know, knowing how to deal with and neutralize each individual person. And so anyway, uh, and everything I, w I really want to say, uh, never ninja loot from your friends or from your guild, because uh, I just think it's a really shitty thing to do. I, ha I actually rolled off Invincible before I had it, and uh, that was because I had friends, friends in the group. Uh, never betray your friends never uh you know betray their trust um you know you got you gotta you need them you know so whenever you want to play that double you know that yog zero thing you know running in there you know you got somebody to do that for you okay and so make sure that you never 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 ninja from your friends or your guildies or anything like that like honestly like i know this is a dickhead thing to do but this is really all it comes down to like as i said before this is this is a dickhead thing to do ninja looting is a dickhead thing to do and this is how to do it, okay? And so anyway, uh, usually whenever I, uh, I I do a group, um, I'll ask in guild, I'll be like, hey, yo, I'm doing old war, guess what's gonna get ninja with it, right? Or I'm gonna take Memorand's head, right? And if somebody wants to come for transmog, great. But they're not gonna they're not gonna ever be be salty about the fact that you ninja with Memorand's head. Okay, so it's real simple, guys. Make sure that you never ninja loot from your friends or from your guild, all right? Now a lot after after they they nin after you ninja loot it right, a lot of people are going to be mad right. They're going to be foaming at the fucking mouth, and that's the best part for me. That's the best part. I love it whenever that happens. Like I remember the uh, whenever uh, the warglave drops, and uh, we actually had to do three rerolls for me to win it. <laughs> and so um, that was just like you know fucking ridiculous. Like I don't even remember how long ago that was. That was like wow, that was like over five years ago. Holy shit. What the fuck am I doing? Either way, um, so uh, I had to do five, or no, three different loot rolls for uh, for for the warlord. I'm sorry, I was getting myself a little bit confused. And um, again, like everybody was fucking pissed off. You know, people were sending me towels, everything else like that. But uh, you know, to me, that's the best part. You know, I always like it whenever people get pissed off. And so, as I said before, uh, is it don't uh, if if you're like not the kind of person that likes that kind of stuff, don't don't do this like honestly as i said before it's a dickhead thing to do so if you're gonna do it at least own it like at least fucking own it and another thing like whenever i ninja loot the uh the flame town of a witch resort we finished the run because after uh, after we actually killed the boss i just said all right go up to ryleth and uh we just act like it didn't happen right one guy got mad one guy got mad and he left everybody else was just like oh he got the mount he stole the mount and that was it you know, like, we don't, don't miss a beat, all right, just keep going and act like it didn't happen, now, a lot of things that people say, you're going to get blacklisted, motherfucker, there's 10 million people playing the game, what the, what do you think the probability of somebody memorizing your name, and not just somebody, but a large group of people memorizing your name, and, and actively remembering not to play with you, oh, that's right, it's zero, 
don't worry about that. Like, we used to run VOA on my old guild, Overdose. Uh, me, my boy Austin, uh, all my friends from Overdose, you know, Talib, uh, Hero, Inu, like, everybody. Uh, we used to all, we ninja looted VOA eight times a week. We ninja looted VOA eight times a week to gain funds for the, uh, for the guild bank so we could buy BOEs and Cataclysm. And so what we'd do is we'd, uh, we'd finish the boss and we'd kill the boss and then we'd auction off all the gear, right? And so anyway, uh, we'd never, we'd always have a full group. We would have a full group every single time, every single week. And people would say Overdose is ninjas, Asmongold is ninja. Like that's, I've, I don't know how many times I've heard that. But uh, either way, uh, we still had groups. We still had a group every single time. You're never going to get blacklisted, okay? Unless you're just doing this, like, every single day, nonstop, just, like, spamming constantly. Like, my, my boy Jeff, like, before he went to the Marines, like, back in the day, like, he used to ninja shit all the time. And he would still get groups. He would still get groups. He ninja looted uh, the Gruul's shield, the uh, Aldori Legacy Defender. I remember the name. Uh, he ninja that shield three times, Okay. Ninja it three times, and um, they still there was still a group for the third time, so don't worry about that. Like obviously, sometimes people are gonna are gonna hate you for it, and that's how it goes. You're not always gonna make friends nowhere, no matter where you go. Like that's really all there is to it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I've got to say. It's been kind of a long video. Hopefully, it didn't get too boring. But either way, uh, this is these are the tips that I think are effective and good for ninja looting. Uh, People say that, oh, you should just change the uh, loot method in combat. I think they changed something to where you can't do that. But that's not really, that's not my style. You know, I don't really like to do that. So uh, either way, uh, that's pretty much what you guys need to know. If you have any questions, if I'm a fucking asshole, oh, let me know. Because I already know. But, hey, I, mean, I know that the people who are going to tell me that are, are not going to, I mean, they're going to tell me that anyway. Right? So either way, uh, maybe we can do one about ninja and guild banks. Okay, maybe we can do one. Oh, we're not going to do one about stealing accounts because that's fucking gay. We're not going to do that. But maybe Ninja and Guild Banks, depending on how much interest we have. I hope this was informative. Thanks for watching. And like, comment, subscribe.